Good morning, everybody. Today is Monday, August 30th. Dr. Vong here with your quick COVID update. Um, because it was we're coming out of the weekend, I don't really want to report on the numbers, but um, let me just say a couple of things for people who are vaccine hesitant or conspiracy theorists or these people who don't want to get vaccinated. Let me say a, a couple of points, all right? Now, this is really important. If you think, because if you go on my fan page and you read some people's comments, some people think, they'll say, everybody knows it's the vaccinated people that are making these variants. Okay, the second anyone says that, if you think that, you don't know what you're talking about. The second they say that, you know they don't know what they're talking about. Prove it, Dr. V. Well, the very first example is that we had variants before there were vaccines. <laughs> I mean, you don't even need to know the science. You don't even need to know how it works. But if you go, well, wait a minute, weren't these variants discussed, like the, the UK variant, you know, alpha, beta, you know, weren't those back in the fall of 2020 before we had vaccines? Uh, yeah, so that really doesn't support your, your theory that the vaccines uh, are the vaccinated are the ones causing the variants. And then they'll say, well, no, well, no, I mean now. That was back then. I'm talking about now. I'm talking about the Delta and then blah, 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 blah. Um, <laughs> well, it's the same thing. The Delta variant is the, is the one that ravished India, you know, and we didn't have it here in the United States. You know, like I don't really, it was while we were, while people were getting vaccinated, it was already like as we were vaccinating Americans, India was dealing with the Delta variant before Delta got to the United States. So I don't really, okay, but say so forget that. Well, you realize that um, some basic science for you, that's not how it works. Variants are just random mutations and they've, the, the SARS-CoV-2 virus has had thousands of mutations. Not, most of them are not clinically ob observant. And the, the ones that are, for example, think of, think of all of the, like uh, the, uh, the huge book, War and Peace. It's like 700 pages long. And let's say <clears throat> there's a couple of typos in there, you know, like instead of an I, there's an E, instead of there, you know, there's just a couple of typos, uh, you know, and out of a book of 700, it's still war and peace. So the, the SARS-CoV-2 virus has had thousands of these mutations. Most of them doesn't matter, doesn't show up as anything. We've only had four, alpha, beta, gamma, delta, that are of concern right so of all the thousands of mutations there's only four that are of concern there's another five or six that are of interest you know everyone's you know lambda is the next one that might or might not do something there might be new little strains i mean we talked about at one point we talked about an la variant new york variant what happened to those you know we were they were of interest but they didn't really pan out so they're just different varying degrees and these variants happen not because of a vaccination status, moron. They happen because there's just a lot of virus out there. And the more virus you have out there in the community, the more cells it gets into, the more times it replicates. It's just random chance that something will um, pop up and, um, and, and will give it a benefit for whatever reason. Either it evades, it attaches, you know, uh, to your cell receptors stronger, it has an additional binding. And it's usually not one, it, one mutation, it usually takes several mutations. And you have to remember one person who's infected with COVID, I mean, has hundreds of millions of virus. It's not, it's not like, oh, there's one. It's not one virus. Like, oh, I got me, I got me the Rona. You don't have one coronavirus in you. You got millions. And then they replicate and it replicates and replicates. And every time it replicates, it replicates hundreds of millions of copies. The numbers are astronomical. And so it's actually more surprising that we haven't had more variants of interest. And this is one of the weird things about viruses, man. Like some viruses replicate a lot. 
like SARS. Is, and we didn't know this when SARS first came out. We didn't know like how stable, and that's why people were like, how effective, how long term are these vaccines gonna be? Like how, do we have to have a booster shot every year? Like, we don't fucking know. It's what, that's what novel means. It means it's new. We don't know if it's gonna remain stable, like the chicken pox or polio. Vac polio. It turns out it's kind of medium, like it's, it's changing, but as the more science comes in, we're like, oh, it's changing a lot more rapidly. It's, it's having, and people go, that's the gain of function research, Dr. B, put Fauci in jail. Like Fauci had a fucking, like, oh my God. See, you can really tell a person's level of understanding by the things that they say. So one of the things that makes them sound like they're smart is they'll say things like, you know, it's the vaccinated that's causing these variants. Like, no, it's not. That's not how it works. Uh, that's not how the science works. And anyone who want, wants to beat that drum or beat ivermectin or beat hydroxychloroquine, anyone who sits there and posts, I have a friend who, who says this, I, who, we know all of these doctors who prescribe ivermectin, who do this and do that. Maybe they did early on. I'm telling you, they're not doing it now. I mean, it would be crazy. Um, even, let's assume, even I, I, you know, I'm kind of an open-minded doctor. And if, if it was early on in the days, and maybe there was an early paper, you know, and on the benefits of ivermectin, I would write a little prescription and say, hey, just, I, hey, you're really sick. I'm going to throw this at you. You know, sometimes, like, you know, when you're in a pandemic, you got to just throw shit at people to see what works. <laughs> And, and, um, but now like there's no, no doctor in his right or her right mind is prescribing ivermectin right now. You, the, nobody, I'm telling you. Yeah. And if they are, they won't be very long, you know, trust me, it's not how it works. So people keep prescribing to these theories and these, these just, just don't listen to these people. Just trust me. You know, this is how this works. This is going to play out. And listen, today's August 30th. I'm telling you, this is the second wave. This is not the fourth wave or the fifth wave. I'm talking about the United States here. All that crap we went through last year with up and down and surge, it's been, that's one surge. What we went through last year was one, one surge. We are about to, we're hitting the second surge, right? There will be a third surge. We've got one more surge to go. So if you're still freaking out about this and you know like you haven't figured it out, you don't realize that that you you should get vaccinated and then yes, you might need a booster in the future. Let's wait and see. I'm young, I'm pretty healthy. Leave the boosters to the immunocompromised or whoever the CDC looks at and says, "Oh, wow, this this is really and we don't know what's going to happen." That's the thing about science. We are willing, let me give you the last thing and I'm done with my rant. We, scientists, doctors, we're willing to admit we don't know. We don't know yet. It's the morons. It's the, it's the morons that says, no, this is definitely, I do know. I know how this, like, really? Like, you, you have no background in science. You're not a scientist. You're not a doctor. You have, you barely graduated high school, but you know you know how this is going to turn out. You know this is a conspiracy. You know that this is... And all the doctors are going, we don't really know. Let's see. Let's collect the data. Let's analyze it. Let's... Very different mentality. So I would, I would caution you against people who say stupid like stuff like that. Dr. Vaughn, you just said there'd be a third wave. <laughs> yeah, I know. And there will be. See you tomorrow. Bye.